One really important application of determinants is that it can be used to define the cross product of vectors. So this brings us back to vectors. Let's uh, review one idea though. Um, a vector, a 3D vector, V, whose components are A, B, C, can be written in terms of the unit vectors I, J, and K, where I is the unit vector in the positive x direction, J is the unit vector in the positive y direction, and K is the unit vector in the positive z direction. So it's, it's, it's in alphabetical order, just like uh, x, y, z, i, j, k. And this is how you would write vector v. You'd write it as a, uh, a times i plus b times j plus c times k. Right? The components are still easy to see. Now let's suppose we have two vectors in this form, in this i, j, k form. Then the cross product is defined v cross w equals the determinant. And across the first row, I put the three the unit vectors i, j, and k, and then I put across the second row the components of the first vector in the cross product, v, and across the last row I put the components of the second vector in the cross product, w. So that's really important, the order that you put these two, right? The first one in the cross product you put in the second row, the second one you put in the third row. Let's try this in an example. So I have two vectors, v equals 4, negative 5, negative 3, w equals 2, 2, 1. I first have to put these in i, j, k form. So that's really easy because all you have to do is just fill in the i minus 5, j minus 3, k. Same for this, 2i plus 2j plus 1k, it's just k. And then v cross w is the determinant i, j, k. So you always put i, j, k across the top. And then 4, negative 5, negative 3, those are the components of v. And then the components of w, 2, 2, and 1. And you expand this the way you do, would a normal determinant. So I'll expand across the top row. I have i times this minor, negative 5, negative 3, 2, 1. And then I have to uh, subtract j times its minor, 4, negative 3, 2, 1. And then I add k times its minor, oops, 4, negative 5, 2, 2. Okay, and then I just compute these 2 by 2 determinants. So this one's going to be negative 5 minus negative 6. So negative 5 plus 6, which is 1. That gives me i times 1. Minus j. This will be 4 minus negative 6. 4 plus 6, 10. So j times 10 plus k. I have 8 minus negative 10. 8 plus 10 is 18. So the answer is i minus 10j plus 18k. And of course you can put that into regular component form if you like. v cross w is 1, negative 10, 18. So depending on what, your, what form your teacher wants, either of these is an acceptable answer.